So Gozani, hey, you back very quickly. I love you guys. I love you guys. It feels good for me now. It feels ideal. It feels like we are in alignment. I appreciate your patience, but you know, we always speak about lousy timing being perfect timing. Um, and missing scat is because the ancestors want it in a particular way and it happens in a particular way. So let's just start by checking in who is here. Please say hi. Let me know where you're from. Um, yeah, you know, so I know who is in um, connection with me tonight, who is connecting with me tonight. Um, thank you, Kukuletu. Thank you, Tumisang. Yes, I found the perfect view. Excellent. It feels great. I, I mean, I also feel great. I'm looking at myself in the screen. I'm like, okay, this looks good. This looks good. Tato. Thank you, Sisipo. Please let me know. Yes, D is from Pretoria. Jablila from Olifonstein. Uh, we've got somebody from Cape Town, Asma from the US, Gundi from Venda, uh, we've got Monica from Deben, welcome Monica from Deben, we've got Siamo, yeah, we've got Witumelo from Pretoria, some girl is from Pretoria, we've got Tato from Soweto, we've got Kukuletu from Nkanja, a KZN, we've got Victoria from Bloemfontein. Hey, we've got a whole, we've got everybody from the country, Cape Town, Eastern Cape, wow. We've got the US in the house. We've got somebody in Tanzania. We've got Tefenda in Zimbabwe. We've got uh, my neighbor in Cosmo City. Hello, hello there. Togozani, we've got from Bizana. Bizana is the Eastern Cape, I'm assuming. Funeka from the Northern Cape. We've got Tumsang from Free State. We've got, um, yeah, isn't it fascinating? We've got people from all over the continent. Uh, we've got people all over the country. We've got people all over the globe. This is amazing. This is excellent. So tonight, what am I speaking about? And you know that when I get into the thick of things, my voice tone changes and something overtakes me because you need to understand that my teachings are based on my own experiences as a personal you know, personal experiences um, as a healer, as a heal your life teacher, and as a coach as well. So we need to understand that when it comes to issues of African spirituality, things are not always seen or experienced the same way. African spirituality is complex because it is also a personal journey with one's and sister. So when I'm teaching and you might be listening to another teacher, it might sound like a contradiction. Hence, I say that always listen for the words that resonate or the messages that resonate with you. Whatever that doesn't resonate doesn't mean everything that I'm teaching you need to apply. Take and see what fits for you and what speaks to you and what resonates to your spirit and if you could engage with me in this conversation with the spiritual heart spiritual mind spiritual ears you know because sometimes i speak and it creates discomfort but discomfort as i always say it's a call for change so be open to learning and like I said earlier on, that uh, Epetro taught me to be open to learning, has taught me to be a student of life. And, and being a great teacher means you are forever, you know, learning and learning, relearning, reawakening, awakening. So I go through the same process that you are going through right now. Every time when I encounter a patient in Dumbeni with, with a dilemma or a dynamic I've never experienced, it's an opportunity for me to learn, but also understanding where my limitations are and what I, my competencies and what I'm not able to do. So when you are an open person and you are open to learning, you are able to take um, you know, responsibility for what you are able to do and what you're not able to do because being a spiritual healer and as a spiritual Spiritual healer. I'm trained in other modalities, but what I've immense invested myself in is being is Sangoma. Hence, I'm wearing a t-shirt called Proud Sangoma. You've seen me wearing a lot of these t-shirts. Uh, they're made by Ms. Wando Pino on Instagram. She is one of the gogos I trained, and her gift and had to be, you know, she has a gift, she practices, but she also was guided to do things like this because. That's the thing about being spiritually gifted. We don't all have to do the same things. We can be using, you know, we could go through processes of initiation as a catalyst for us to realize our higher purpose, which is what Ipetlo and Uktuas is about. It's about awakening to the core and the essence of our bigness. And by awakening to the core and the essence of our bigness, then our purpose and why we are here becomes 
Ukera and it starts to manifest. And because Upetra is Upetra, Uklelwa, Uglungiswa, so that the old that never no longer saves you can die and, and what needs to be born can emerge. So I need to explain about, let me explain what is African traditional healing or in other terms is ask as or Abalapi Bendabugo. So there are different types of African spiritual healers. So there is Abangoma. So to be an Ungoma, it's a calling because you already have an innate ability to connect to those who have departed in the physical and they've become spirit. So Sitige, Amatlozi, or Abanga Seko, or Itongo. Those words are used interchangeably, interchangeably by, by us because then we look for a common name and a common name used is uh, Itlozi. So a person who's called to be Ungoma is the one who is gifted with the gift of 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 hearing, of seeing, of and of connecting to Amatlozi, Abanga Seko. So when you are called to become a Sangoma, it means you're an interceder uh, or you are a bridge between those who are still alive and those who have departed. And then you could be called as a Sangoma to then, because you are hearing and seeing and sensing people on the other side, it could be that for your own health and the health and the well-being of your family, but it could be for the community. Then you become a practicing Sangoma and then others then get called to then train other people to take them through a process of initiation. Let me know if you follow me. I don't want to lose you. So then there's another type of African spiritual healers um, or indigenous healers because not 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 everyone is immense in, 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 in spiritual healing, but I believe that it's incremental that we do because as Africans, we always have to be led by spirit because when spirit leads us, we are then doing things in, in, integrally, we're doing things truthfully, we're doing things authentically, we're doing things honestly as practitioners. So that's why I call us African spiritual healers. Then there's those who are called herbalists, amakeza, sometimes barangaka, you know, or inyanga. But the word inyanga comes from inyanga, the moon, right? So understanding that we heal in connection with the moon energy. We heal in connection with nature's energy because ours is to always read into what is energy and spirit telling us uh, about what you have come seeking help for. And therefore, how do I listen to the message of the moon, how do I listen to the messages of nature, of energy? Because nature is energy. Energy meaning spirit, spirit meaning amantlozi, meaning God. Because when we depart, we return back to our source. We return back to the creators of the universe. So, But when you are called to become a herbalist, it means your understanding is immense in the the medicinal plants their properties medicinal plants and other things that are used because plants or immunity is not only the herbs and the barbs and the roots we use beads are medicine food is medicine you know a lot of other things in african spirituality are seen as medicine um being 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 rooted and being connected rituals are medicine so there's different types of medicines so to become inyanga people can also have an interest but what I know, Gutemandulo, they would always see a child who had a natural interest or an inclination who would then apprentice the nyanga in the family and be taught the medicines because you also need to listen to the spirit and the voices of the plants because they have a voice. The animals have a voice. So you need to be in tune with them spiritually to know what works, how, to know when to do what, to know when to harvest and not to harvest. Because we don't just take because we want to consume and we think that nature is at our disposal and we can abuse it. We know that certain times when we're not supposed to harvest medicine, we're not supposed to plant seeds. We know we work with the cycle of nature. And I'm not inyanga. I have an understanding of the herbs, so I can't touch deeply on that. I want to speak to this context because when I speak about dreams, then everything will start to fall into place. Because without context, deeper understanding does not happen. 
So then there's other people, midwives, right? Ababilities, see, people who are gifted in, 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 in actually conception, pregnancy, and delivery of healthy babies. Uh, these are mostly women who would understand the womb and how to make sure that that child in the womb does live till term. And, you know, they, it's the ones who tend babies. The babies are breached. It's the ones that actually also would uh, give you the right kinds of medicines and particular treatments to make sure that you, you are able to deliver healthily. And they did also perform cesarean sections. That's what I hear. I haven't investigated it even further. When I have an, in, when I have, investigated it and i've created an understanding i can teach about that then there's also a um, being you know it's a crosser word for uh, surgeons whom we see at initiation schools and normally a um, herbalist uh, uh, you know and an amatribi would you know a herbalist would be it so some of these these um you know practitioners some of us as practitioners it could be yes it could be uh, uh, so some of us as practitioners, we have a combination of, of all of those practices because also when you become a Sangoma, a healing or practicing Sangoma, you develop a speciality area, a mastery, depending on who has gifted you the gift. My mastery is understanding the world of Amantos. So people who have complications complexities around isimo sedlos in abangaseko i know guti that's what i'm gifted in hence i can teach about it so well eloquently and articulately but, um, uh, you know eloquently and i can be so articulate about it and i have a universal language around it and i can simplify it and i can take people deeper but in a simple way because that's what i'm gifted with and that also became clearer when I became a Kobela because as a Kobela, you need to be able to understand Isimo Setlozi because Itlozi is a, a spirit that has still not completed uh, its mission while it was alive and it comes in and it, it comes in and it becomes present into your body and then but you've got the calling. Among us, circle, it's guardians who are watching over us, who are protecting, guiding us, and blessing us. But we're using those words interchangeably because over time, as we, you know, we lost our language, we lost our ways, we found these generic terms that we're using. So if Nitabanga Seko or Ridlos, but be clear, remember to Ungenwe Ithlos or Ushushua Ithlos, it means Uguti, this is a living spirit that is asking to be honored for something or a function to be performed meaning those who have departed don't necessarily are asking you to honor them by being a spiritual healer they might be asking for a ritual they might be asking for an acknowledgement like upata they might be asking because with us when people depart we understand the body dies and it does rest at the graveside but we do a ceremony, but by a kushul, meaning is the resurrection process. What the, you know in the Christian context, hence I say Christianity is an adaptation of African spirituality because the whole concept of of, of resurrection is an African concept. So we the, the spirit becomes if you know we evoke the spirit of our ancestors and that's whom we speak to, that's whom we talk to because as human beings we are also visual. We understand things visually. So just because you are seeing or or experiencing a picture of your grandfather, if they come in a spirit form, you wouldn't understand what's going on. That's why when people have experiences like Ishateledi, sleep paralysis sometimes, they don't know how to dissect if it's evil or it's good. Because when they come in a form of a spirit, it overwhelms us. Because as human beings, we see with our eyes, we, 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 know we, we, we work with our imagination a lot. I hope you are following me here. So now that I've explained, I want to emphasize on dreams that indicate that you might have a spiritual calling to be umgoma, a sangoma. Some of the dreams are common, but some of them are uncommon because we don't attach them uh, to uh, being called. We think they mean something else because dreams, remember, are messages from the spirit. They can be metaphorical, they can be symbolic, they can be literal, and they can also be things that we have held in our subconscious mind that we have not actually healed, that we have not done. Childhood traumas, pains, and, tra and, and tragedies experience that our memory has blocked off. So when they reoccur, they are reminding us that 
there is a wound that needs to be healed. But certain dreams of, of, of tragedies and trauma, they're not only about our childhood, they are wounds of our ancestors. There are generational pathologies and, and family pathologies and patterns that have been carried and they are showing you those things because this is what has lived before your existence. So you as the one who's been shown, they are asking you to pay attention, but most importantly, they are asking you to take action because they know good unekono. They know you've got the ability. You might not know it in your conscience yet, but they understand that what you are in spirit is capable to actually help them heal those pathologies and heal those things. Hence, some of the pathologies is you find yourself that um, that you are unable, you know, the whole family, people can get married. And it's not that marriage is the thing. It's, you know, marriage has no longer become an, an aspiration for a lot of people because we live in the times where people choose whether they want to stay, have legal institutions that show commitment. But it could be that there is a pathology in the family. There is a sickness. There is something that is at a disease that is not at ease within the family. So you are being shown things because you are the one who's called to heal that pathology. And sometimes you have to go through a process of Ugutwasa because that old has to die so that the new can be born. Because Ugutwasa is about healing thyself first and then healing thy family. And then if that, that, that ancestor you walk with, then once what they have done for you to be applied on other people, then you, it will be shown. That's why some people, when they finish twasaring, they don't have to go and practice, but it is not up to me or you to dictate. It is up to them to say, this is what we want. All I know, Uguti Amadlozi, don't impose, don't create suffering. They don't uh, create bad lucks. Those things happen because what Idlozi is doing, it's reminding you of your spiritual agreement because what happens is before you became a body, you made some agreements in terms of why you're going to come and become a human being, why you're going to come and become a black human being, why you're going to come and become a Ngunu, a Sotu, etc., etc. Everything of yours was set out and planned before you took form, meaning the body is the form. So when suffering happens, as people know it, that, hey, as, uh, you know, the calling makes people suffer. No, suffering are reminders that you are out of alignment with thyself. Suffering is a reminder to wake up to the truth of your beingness and why you have come at this time on this planet and what is the divine purpose you've been called to serve. So suffering is a reminder. Even when people have accidents, I'm like, because an accident happens so fast, what are you not paying attention to that you need a tragedy to remind you to be present to the moment? Take that in for a moment. What is it that you are not paying attention to? What are you not being present to that an accident gets and comes your way to wake you up to the truth of why you are here? So understand that no one is making you suffer. You are suffering because you are in denial of what and who you are. And I've spoken about historical injustices that have told us being Izangoma, it's, it's, it's demonic. Being Izangoma, it's evil, it's ungodly. But it is time through the many teachers that have come to unlearn and relearn the beauty in being an interceder. Because how can you be given with such and be entrusted with such beauty of understanding and seeing and hearing from the other side? And you see that as demonic. How is it? That's... That's, that's not possible, right? Because you are in alignment and it means that, or, you know, somewhat in your energy field, you have been blessed with a higher vibrational frequency that can see before it happens, that can see what has happened, that can see what is happening. Because in the spirit world, timelines don't exist, right? These borders and these constraints don't exist. So when we get to dreams that we would see, that can indicate, that can indicate that you are gifted. Because understand, dreams are just one thing that you need. For me as Coco Dineo, they are fundamentals. They are basic requirements for you to go on and say, I am gifted. Because if dreams are the language of the spirit and messages of the spirit, and they say you have a spiritual calling, but you have not been communicated to by the spirit, 
how then do you go twasa and you have not seen anything? You have not seen any dream. And it doesn't mean because you're not dreaming, you are not. Because sometimes we just don't recall. Because dreams are experiences. We have when our body is rested, our spirit is awake. So when we sleep and then we go into a spiritual experience. So some of those dreams, when I say they are literal, you are having that exact experience at that particular time. That's why you'd wake up and you are running and you are sweating. How do you explain that scientifically? But African science says it is possible because you went and, and had that experience and then your, your body is reminding you that you had the experience. Right. So it's very important when you are told that you have got a calling to first ask to be connected so you can dream. Because to become a sangoma, especially about Unguni Nomdao, that is what I'm going to also teach about later on, that they have to indicate and show you. And you should, they are gifting you. They are gifting me as Udineo. So why are they not speaking to me? They might not be speaking to me because, yes, I'm stubborn. Yes, I'm not. I'm disconnected. Yes, yes, yes. All these other things might be valid. But the minute I open my, my, myself and I surrender and I say I let God and I let Lozi, it means there has to be a shift. It's, it means that because it's also important for your human sight to conceptualize them. So if you are not seeing it, believing it becomes very difficult. And we live in a times where people can all say we are called. We are all called. We are all called, but we are not all called for the same things. Many are called, but few are chosen. And those few are chosen, they all have their own fields of masteries. And we cannot duplicate or replicate these processes because spiritual journeys are personal. Because your own ancestral lineage has its own pathologies and patterns that it is trying to heal. Hence, they've called you. So understand those things. It is fundamental, and I emphasize this a lot, even to the criticism of, of my colleagues in the field of practice, because I say from my own experience, in 2010, thank God, the next year I'm celebrating 10 years, and my hope is to celebrate 50 years as a healer, because I'm going to be here till 100. Hey. I've got that. I've, I've been given a century to do the work that I need to do. So I'm going to leave till 100. So I'm celebrating 10 years. And in 2010, I had a very vivid dream. I work with people now who have very vivid dreams that they who are skeptics cannot also dispute it. Because to have a critical mind, it's very important. Otherwise, you're going to fall for everything and stand for nothing. We do understand that in the field of practice, there are also Luthers. You know, there are also vampires. There are also opportunists. So if you want to safeguard yourself and your gift, not in disrespect of your ancestors, but in their honor, engage them and say, may you please with kindness and respect and humility, I ask you speak to me and direct me. I know I might have been stubborn. I understand. Because sometimes our ancestors are not able to communicate with us because we are carrying certain toxicities in our energy field that needs to be cleansed. There are particular rituals that need to be performed to ground us and root us. So we are not able to dream. So somebody can say, no, so I don't, especially with Zingun, I, I don't get the theory. Maybe it has worked. And I do know that there are people who have went to my Bang at Telwanga and it worked. But you don't want to be Utomas Mahola Kaubon. Rather, pace yourself. Patience, persistence, perseverance are incremental in making sure your journey is successful. Dreams are fundamental. Basic for me, it's a basic requirement. And for some people, it takes years. We don't have patience because we think this process is a fast food outlet. And it's not. And that's why you'll always be fixing broken pieces because your foundation was not set right. Dreams are your foundation. So what are some of the dreams? Let's speak about uncommon ones that people want re relate to dreams. School. I've spoken about it on in Instagram. you constantly seeing yourself in school. you constantly seeing your younger self in primary school. you seeing yourself writing exams. you seeing yourself... There's school that surrounds you. When you go into initiation, you go... 
so it's school that needs that that's indicating there is new learning there is rebirthing because we go to school to learn language we go to school to create an understanding we go to school to be fed knowledge and wisdom you go a pattern to be fed knowledge and wisdom right so that's 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 another one the one where you are always being chased and you are running away from it because you are running away from yourself. You are being called and you are running away from yourself. So you are being chased because your calling will call until you head it. And by running away from yourself, it means that you are not able to flourish because you are not being you in what you're needing to be for yourself. So when things fall apart, don't play me close. We are pigamous. It's like they say I'm black. I'm like, I'm not black. <laughs> you know this i'm like i'm not a woman i'm yeah i can say i'm a spirit but in my physical form i am a woman in my essence i'm no woman no man in my essence i am bigness but i chose to be take on a form of a female because i knew that in this female body i am able to self realize my divine purpose as bigness so you're being chased by people and you are being chased by animals right so uh, yeah i see your questions i'm gonna get to all of those things so I'm, I'm explaining the dreams and the why because my 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 love is to make people understand i'm so passionate about making people understand because i can list them and don't say why then you're like because oh. context is everything context creates understanding understanding influences and inspires action So then uh, let's speak about pregnancies because it's called a gift. In African spirituality, a child was a gift to the family, to the community, because we understood that our ancestors have blessed us by adding a life that is going to aid us in somewhat. That's why naming of a child was such a sacred process. It was not about the two parents, but it was about the community. That's why the naming of a child had to do with, with, with the, the circumstances of the conception of the pregnancy and the delivery spoke an identity of that child. So when you dream of children, you see this hashtag, it's because you are carrying a gift of your ancestors. So pregnancy is carrying a gift of your ancestors. When you start to see babies, it means that it is time that you tender and nurse the gift of your ancestors. It is time you nurture it. It is time you work with it. It is time you take care of it. So that's the dreams of pregnancy and babies. So dreams of animals. And I want to say this with animals, along with other dreams, right? Remember, this is not in, you can't take one dream and conclude for yourself. I said dreams that possibly can mean you are gifted because the fundamental uh, way of knowing you are gifted, one of the basic signs is what has always been a miss? What has been your long-term suffering and billion? Because you don't start at 35 and realize you have a gift. Some people, it's a physical illness. Some people, it's an emotional instability. Some people, it's a psychological illness. So you have to have something that has not been at ease for you from early on in childhood. And then as you grow up, it becomes clearer you are gifted. So understand that. So let's speak about animals again. Yeah. Because animals can mean both the gifts, but can mean connecting to your ancestral lineage because as Africans, totems mattered. So, what am I saying? I am saying the animal totems you know, we are a, a, a war talk, not a domestic pig, a war talk. Bopengu, abo songo lolo, meaning the gonji wate songo lolo. Ini songo lolo. I forgot what it is in English. Abo njanzi, um, they are birds, but they are also crabs. So each and every family had an animal totem because when we migrated as Africans and everywhere we were, I said earlier on, our relationship to nature is very important. Nature is our greatest teacher. Nature is our greatest healer. So everything speaks in nature. You know, somebody wrote what 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 is in 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 English. Um, 
So it could be that they are asking you to connect, but it could also be specifying a type of ubungoma because being isangoma, there's there's different types of isangoma. That is mostly people who initiate the closer way. So you cannot be itongelimshope if you don't have any closer lineage. There has to be a, bl a, a, a blood lineage of amakosa in your bloodline. There is a, then there is Amakosi. Amakosi is Isi Zulu. So there has to be a Zulu ancestral lineage. Hence you go initiated. Then there is Bolise Di Khanya. That's the Sutu form. I thought I was going to go the Lopo way because, hey, I mean, my, my dad, Ukuliso Mape, Mupatu Baba Kumkalapa in Limpopo, Mamaka Kerama Lepe, and I was raised by the Rama Lepes because I, I grew up on my maternal side. So I understand, I understand, I assumed, Yabo, I assumed, Utai was shooting Zotwasa is paid, yeah, more or less, or Amakos was Zoo. Can you imagine had I not paid attention to my dream? I would have made what you know things. What you know things is limited to the understanding of this plane. But what Rosy knows is much bigger than what you know things. Right? So, uh, what about you from West Africa? There are, I mean, I don't know a lot of about indigenous healers in, 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 in other parts of the continent. I can only speak about Southern Africa, but I'm going to get to Mguni now. Hence, a lot of us are starting to initiate. If you haven't seen my video, it's a part one. I'm going to do a part two on why so many of us are now called to be Abu Togoza Koko. Because Togoza Koko, more than Gamaku, more than Makosi, more than Lesedi is well known. You know, post-apartheid, we all kind of boomed into becoming Izango Mazomdao. And it frustrated a lot of other healers who didn't understand what is the Ndao spirit to say, Aibo, why all of a sudden, but Ndao connects us to our Africanness. Um, Africa, before you are South African, before you are Zulu, before you are closer, before you are paid, you are African. In your melanin speaks your Africanness speaks of your blackness so i believe as ukoko dineo because we have been divided and conquered during colonization right that made us segregated as a nation of black people or of africans Josie then said aguvuge Undao, because even as Africans, we understand Guti, the story that we are told, history tells us as Amazulu, as Abesutu, that we are migrants of Southern Africa. We migrated, some of us come from the East, Central, some of us all from the North and West Africa. So it's in Dao, and the fact that it speaks a language that even in Southern Africa, sometimes we don't know it, and they say it's in Dao, because even with people who speak Dao, but sometimes it speaks something that sounds like Koi, sounds Sounds like Arabic, sounds like all these things. It is a way in which it connects you to your African identity before you become Umsu to Umpedi. So it's to understand that that breaks cultural and tribal barriers, tribal barriers that were connected by, you know, that were created by colonization. I always say that, you know, I'm all about unity and the human and the rainbow nation, but we cannot, we as a black race, then feel like we're going to be part of the human race if in our own identity is so broken and fragmented. So by healing the pathology and healing the toxicity of what colonization has done, and hence we cannot wait for our colonizers to apologize and take responsibility and take accountability, they say, we are calling you to be able to a koko by that see yourself because you find guti hey now nah, upela gumzulu say fanel and giti a eh, kokwani sman man ah, i can see level kokwani a eh, yabo or mum to an afadel and gulabules who say fanel and ever say gunja loga kulu ganja alum do you see what that is doing it is breaking tribal tribalism you know and it's another way that can help us break xenophobia because we know South Africans are very xenophobic. It's like, oh, Lama Zimbabwe. Hey, Dao people are also in Zimbabwe. <laughs> you know, Dao people are in Zimbabwe. The original Dao people who associate their own totem as lions. So when you are seeing lions, it could mean you've got a Dao ancestral spirit, but it could also mean we have Kosini. Because all the cats we know them are emblems of Umkosi, Jaguar, Tiger, Leopard, Cheetah. Lion, did I miss any other uh, cat? And all the wild cats are an emblem, yes, of course. 
But we understand, Guti, because people who initiate the Sindao, you'll see them with the cloth up here with the lion. How interesting. How fascinating is that? So also understanding, Guti, it also evokes warrior ships. Lion hunt in a group. Right? They hunt. I don't know what's the correct English term, but in, is it a troop of lions or a, yeah, but in a group of lions, they go. Yeah, I, what if you see the kids in your dreams? But I just explained the kids right now. I just spoke about the kids right now. Beloveds, let's have a, a spiritual listening ear so you're not missing. You're not missing me. Unfortunately, I can't read long messages. It's unlike Instagram. Uh, YouTube makes it. Yes, yeah, a pride of lions. Thank you very much. Uh, so when they hunt in a pride of lions, and Mesiti Umgun is a Kulmang soldier. We speak of warriors. We speak about Amachaka. We knew that during our our conquest, during our 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 migration, we also were moving in groups and 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 in. You know, in pride, we were moving in, 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 in a group. And when a, a group of, a troop of, of soldiers, they would not go into war alone. That's why I said it's soldier and it's somebody who, oh, 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 So understand that lions can mean umdawo, but can mean amakosi. Because in Gonyama, but in Gonyama, in KZN, when they greet and respect the king, in Swaziland, they say Gonyama. You know, so understand that uh, those things, can you self-initiate yourself? If your ancestors want you to initiate, then it means they're going to be able to explain everything to you. You don't need a mentor. So at some point, you need somebody who can di dissect, unless if they give you very specific and direct things. Let's be very careful because people who are literal dreamers or people who are clairvoyant see things very specifically they see things before they happen and those things happen like deja vu because you'd go and like i've seen this before but if your ancestors are saying they're gonna initiate you uh, i know guti but they still take you from a space of retreat like i can't speak about what that looks like because my ancestors didn't take me and put me in water under three months but you see i wasn't self i wasn't self-initiated i think you you cannot self-initiate you can be initiated by a mentor whether you're going to be sent there but i can't speak about that so don't ask me because i'm clueless because i didn't do that i can only teach from my experiences i can't teach from something i haven't experienced because in Zoe Park. So, yes, in other countries like India. So, I've got an Indian heritage. My grandmother's Indian. South Indians are Africans. Majority of Indians are black people who came. Indians came from Ethiopia, from East Africa. Look at the Ethiopians and the Indians. They've got similarities. And we say, Guti, Umdau, because you see Umdau, they wear the red Itzumani, uh, let's um, go on their head. The, 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 the red, is it Ochar? Yes, the red clay on their head. And you see the Maasai people. You see the Hirimba people in Namibia. So you understand that that's that. So let me speak about any other animals because people are asking me about. Uh, please also understand, beloveds, that I'm not going to ask for your answer your specific dream because dreams are deeply understood within a context when they have to do with you. So that's why it's important if you are a frequent and regular dreamer and your dreams do come to pass, chances are you are spiritually gifted and chances are you will have to initiate. So what would you do for yourself so you're not sitting there being frustrated about whether I'm going live or not? Find yourself a spiritual healer, Isangoma, that can help you, guide you. You need a navigator because you need to know how to work and navigate your way around the gift. So when you dream a lot, chances are is that you are gifted. Hey, you know so and if they come true is they don't come true for mahala so let's speak about animals crocodiles a uh, bakwena i told him again that could mean that it's 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 your ancestral showing up because the uh, I'm, I'm on Gwena crocodiles but there's also snakes and we know which is a clan name for a uh, 
some tribes, uh, uh, some uh, uh, let do some clan name for for a uh, uh, certain people as Tosin because uh, clan names have totems as well as I explained earlier on. So you don't just take that one particular dream and conclude it. Good. Oh, that means umdau. Every snake means umdau. Snake, a big snake in the water, that means inzunza. Inzunza is um, a custodian of the sacred waters and sacred waters are mostly found in where there's a big body of water the ocean uh, big bodies of natural water by the way there's always a guardian who is a custodian and looks after that sacred space so when you're seeing big waters and mononzunza you have to initiate umdao because umdao is your gateway to inzunza you don't do inzunza they, trust me you want to some good umdao my course inzunza basuntu when people want to initiate you everything all at once, you can do one or two at the, you know, one after the other. But remember, some of these in Zonza is, is a custodian. So to be a guardian, to be given custodianship and guardianship over a body of bodies of water means that you need to be able to understand the basics. So you can't go to grade 12 if you have not done grade R. So some people want to run to stages 10 at batting nenzunza. So I was told nenzunza twice by different people who bumped into me and they told me. But I only started doing that thing last few years ago and I went through some sort of process and initiation process last year. So nine years or eight years into my training. So it takes time because there are levels of growth and steps to climb. So just understand uh, uh, umtundu is is something that's associated with Amandao. Some things I will not explain in details because it will jeopardize your process. When you have to go to become a Sangoma, you'll be jeopardized because I'm giving and too much information. So sometimes I will not, right? So let's speak about water again. Because somebody says tsunami chasing me. The people of the waters are calling you. So when there's waves, uh, when the water is calm and it's kind, and uh, because water can mean you need a cleansing or you need to connect to the flow and the energy of the waters. And we understand that water is life. Water is a purifier. Water is a cleanser. Water is an enlightener. Water is a path maker and a path, uh, and, 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 and a path clearer. So that is what it could mean as well when you dream of water. But when you see yourself in the water, underwater with other people doing other stuff, because another common dream that you would have, I'm going to explain the uncommon dreams. So now when I spoke about the animals and I'm speaking about the waters, these are the dreams, what we call common dreams. People who are gifted will also dream a lot about water. But the water has to be clean. If the waters are, 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 are showing aggression, it's because they're feeling you're not paying attention. So it shows that you will not be in flow when when you don't honor your gift, you will create tsunamis. You will create angry waves. So a tsunami meaning there will be a disability and there will be dismantled. The things will fall apart in your life because you are not in flow like the ocean. Is that making sense? When you are seeing dirty water, it's trito, meaning that it's a destructive it's trito. It's something that is would would dismantle and break what is meant to be pulled together so dirty water feces uh um yeah anything that's dirty and 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 i'm not sure because sometimes people think it's dirty but it's our own when we wake up in our conscious state we're like ah that water was dirty but it might not be brown water does not always mean dirty water when I dreamt of Sia coming out of water, the water was very brown and there was a lo long reeds. So it clearly showed that because certain waters and certain sacred spaces, the water is brown. It's not black. It's not dirty. So let's understand what dirty water means. It's when you see things, feces, trash, rubbish, then that's not good. You know, so uh, remember, I'm focusing about about dreams. You know, what does the rain? Rain is also water. I guess I've explained the waters when they are calm, when they when you are underwater and and with people and doing things. For some people, dream must pass go manzi. It does not mean good have a manzi in ultimate about in your trust a manzi. Am I sure would the impact meaning the roots and and the path and the type of initiation has to do nabandu abahamba nabandu who gonna do it in the water or there has to be some form of initiation that happens in the water 
right? So the, the, those, those, those that I've explained are what I call the common dreams. And then the very obvious ones then, right? The very obvious ones that we would have. Dogs are both, you know, when they are wild and big dogs, they are easy, huh? enemies and dark forces. But puppies, because we love them and we can take care of them. Th those are also ancestors because we knew that every household, when I grew up, every household that had a dog would know that it was a seer. At night, the dog's eyes are is much more awake. It would see evil spirit, but also even with snakes, because every animal has a shadow. Like we, I've got, I've got my light side and I've got my dark side. Everybody has their light and their dark. It depends which, which you feed, because that which you feed is what grows in you. If you feed yourself negativity, you know, uh, you are on you're not wishing people well, you're always complaining, you're always criti criticizing everyone and everything. That's fitting your, your shadow. That's ego, lower vibrational energy. You know, but if you are positive, you're engaging yourself in, in you are you are committed to healing yourself, you're committed to doing all of those things. So understand, Guti, uh, it's, 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 you know, it's, then it's the light side that you're feeding, right? So uh, I was talking about some of the obvious and uh, uh, remember, I'm not speaking about general dreams, guys. Né? I'm speaking about common dreams of being gifted. So some some messages I'm going to pass because I'm not speaking about general dreams or dreaming of this. Dolphins are custodians of the water as well. So Abanigazi and dolphins. Animals that humans have a general love and uh, affection towards, they are also a symbol of prosperity, wealth, and abundance. And owls are, are the wise elders who bring messages. So when we sing owls is that they bring a very important message and we have to pay attention. So a lot of times in our culture is when buzz, buzz, it's coming to to bigger e, e, C4 or a misfortune that's about to occur because they, we, they're not animals that we should be seeing all the time because they, they, you know, even when you see an owl outside the house, I know when I see one that there's going to be a... There's going to be a, a a death in the family, or there's something. There's there's an important thing. I need to watch my energy. What's going on around my 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 space as well? Bees. When I see bees, I know that I'm getting visitors when they come. But I also know bees are a symbol of 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 a lack of 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 something sweet that's coming or being presented to me so something pleasant is, is making its way so that's why bees are so let me not go through yes and also when you see domestic animals such as chickens but you can also see wild animals like imbangela for example they would see imbangela as well peacock is also quite common but also imbangela because it's got spots so what's imbangela it found when there is disgruntlement or there is flaw false or and uh, you know at the spiritual world to go and apologize so when we use that animal but nabantu who come ebkosini because they are also a a a i i forgot what that bed is called yagangwani it's the beautiful bright baits because baits are also associated to us, but they're also associated to the emblems of Ubkosi because Amakosi, I'm sure they go, they fly high. So when you, when, when there is a, a, when things are about to take flight as well, you know, because also Ndawus are also symbols. Well, Karanga, I, my Karanga symbol is a bait. So it's about higher spiritual gifts or higher levels of spiritual gifts as well. When the baits are flying baits, but here could be about drowning and 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 connecting to the basic first. So your trust is amakosi isul, meaning you have to first connect with this into zagini or is into zamanda. Yeah, bo. Uh, so beloveds, let's not get distracted. Then you start asking me about things that are happening in your life. Let's keep to the dreams. So and the obvious dreams that you are because it starts like chasing. You being chased. You seeing school. You having pregnancy. Then you seeing water. These are the the in the stages, right? You and, and then now and again you're seeing things and they happen and you're like, wow, I saw this and it happened. Or you're seeing a death and a death happens. So you know things start to come to pass. By the time you're starting to see Sangoma things, it's time. The calling is calling. 
When you start to see Sangoma things, the calling is calling. So when you start to see beads, when you start to see the rosy cloths, that, the ancestral cloths that we use, and people have asked me to explain them, I've been quite hesitant. Spirit has not led me to teach because sometimes I feel like we can easily overshare and jeopardize your process because I might speak about the importance of, of, you know, like, let me take this for example. This, that's leopard, that's in Gwenyam. And then I explain it so deeply and it triggers a sense of self-importance in your ego and then it stays in your subconscious mind and then you dream it and you think that's the truth. So certain things, even the color patterns and coding of dreams, I don't do those teachings. And I'm not saying I'll never do it. At this moment, Lozi has not guided me to teach of those things, right? So, uh, so... Yeah, important dream about flying. Thank you. Uh, uh, I'll speak about it now. Let me speak about when you see clothes like this, the one that I just showed now, when you see, when I'm not wearing beads. <laughs> I don't have a lot of beads. When you see beads uh, or bangles like this, uh, when you're starting to see yourself with healers, whether you are dancing with them, whether you are in their presence, when you're seeing them a lot, right? Uh, when you see is it does when you start to see specific rituals being performed around healers, then that's also that's a definite indication that you are gifted. That's a definite indication that you are gifted. Remember, Karabo, you can use a white cloth for for helping you to recall your dreams. Uh, white cloth is is a symbol of purifying, uh, enlightening, and 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 attracting light into the space. But I don't want, please, I I I, Yangtzen. I don't want to go into the teachings. I did it a long time. There is a video on YouTube here. If you go down my YouTube uh, videos, there's one I did for TV. And since then, I haven't really felt compelled, driven, inspired to teach about cross. I feel like sometimes in our teaching, we mean well, but we might also jeopardize. So I haven't really felt like I needed, I need to share uh, about certain things. So I my, my intention is to plant seeds of understanding. My intention is to simplify the complexity of African spirituality, but it's not to jeopardize its sacredness by oversharing because now I'm trying to give content so that people can feel like they're educated. Because some people say, I'm self-initiating, but you're sitting at my YouTube and this Coco's YouTube and you are collectively collecting information to self-initiate at home. And the next thing you want to pick this big, you are a Sanus, you want to be this high priestess. And so let's be very careful. You know, some things are better left unknown. Let your ancestors be the ones who tell you why they want. Because I might say yellow means this, but they might, yellow might mean something else to them. So just be, turn again, means you just join. I long explained snakes, including Guma snakes. You can watch this. I'm going to save it. You can watch it over and over. You can send it as a link for those who are trying to understand their journeys and their paths. What's very important, yes, but let me say, you know, because people come here and they, they watch the streams. I've got people who watch and the next thing they think that they are qualified because, and you, you need to understand that I'm very mindful about what I shave and what I, what I don't share. So this weekend I had Umkiti and I took a lot of videos because people have asked, but I had to pass her first. I had to ask my ancestors, can I have permission to share the videos? You know, because some of them are about Mkulum Kashwa, and even though he's not evoking it, but he's partly in trance, and some of them are when he's Iko Joan. So I need to, you know, ask, and I'm, I'm very careful not to show Abu Koko who are still training and initiating, because we can get excited by this popularism of social media that we forget the peoples. I always ask my ancestors to help me remain in peoples, and even when I go off the path to remind me to come back, there's nothing wrong about showing videos of Gita, because Gita is a celebration of an achievement. We're coming together to celebrate an achievement, um, Gita. So that's why um, Gita is so chabula what somebody has completed their process. So please understand, beloved, sometimes it doesn't mean I'm ignoring your questions or I am ignoring uh, your, 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 your messages. It's because I am trying to be very careful. Patience is key in this process. And there's something beautiful because everything that I'm wearing, I understand why and who I am wearing for because I went and I became patient and I asked the ancestors to let me know. I don't ever take these things off. I've worn them pre me, my Chosa process. So let's, let's, let's do that. Oh yes. Thank you. Coco is reminding me to say, uh, please subscribe to my channel. 
and i'm also going to have a paid membership so tell me what is the kind of content maybe the paid membership is where people can get these specific answers because it means you are actually paying for you are investing so maybe where this is where i can answer your dream specifically why you are dreaming of certain things so you can get actually specialized content tell me tenji what do you think for paid membership and people maybe in paid membership we can also have group readings so i can do a group reading you know for you guys or something like that so flying is abantu abba who is, so all these ancestors batuniwe is tunya means a messenger of light you are sent to bring light but there are people because they're different i forgot to speak about abatandazeli as another gift so thank you for the flying dreams about abatandazeli so people who then use their gifts in the churches and they they healed people through the church way doesn't mean that it is it's 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 just a different kind but it doesn't make it above nor below other types of gifts as well right so understand that when you are seeing flying because we understand that is is also connected to ingelo simangeloi this is my understanding of angels the difference between angels and ancestors ancestors once had a human experience they lived so they have an understanding whereas angels are just spirit guides who've never had a physical form that creator has and 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 unum kubla and umtali gives us an army of guardians, an army of uh, of people who can guide and guard us. So that is then our ancestors. Then that is angels, and also because when angels sometimes intercede, they are neutral because they have never had a personal experience with that lineage of the family. So that's why it's important to always go to partly to talk to the ancestors and pray. And then uh, ask God, you know, or Creator. And when I pray, I always say ngulu ngulu wabo koko beitu because I feel like by saying that when I say ngulu ngulu wabo koko beitu, I am also drawing in gelosis as a kai, the guardians who are neutral in their engagement with me. Whereas my ancestors might be feeling that my mother said no to the calling and this to the so in their way of showing up, there is a level of ishnina, you know. I hope I'm making sense, but remember this. One important thing, and I want to close with this. You are not held at hostage by your ancestors. You are not forced by your ancestors. You are forced by your own soul that agreed to take this contract. So if you don't live up to the contractual agreements at a place of employment, at a school, at any agreement that you've made, there are consequences. So if you go off path, if you don't honor the contractual agreements, there are consequences. So similar, I said, Lozi, you agreed that you will come. You agreed that you'll take this call. I agreed. I know I agreed because my ancestors don't have a body. My ancestors don't really have a body, right? When you're dreaming of celebrities, yes, that's another common dream that people would have. Amanda Babuyem Kosina. I guess celebrities are people who look up to. In us, as the people, we look, we aspire to towards them, we revere them. So Amakosi is people we revere, we give them high respect. They're quite influential. So Amakosi are also influential. So when you come from royalty, from a lineage of royalty, uh, so it will you would see that, you know. So you'd see uh, 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 Africa says you're asking me a specific question, and I said I'm not answering specific questions. I've already asked explained what pregnancy dreams and what all of those things uh dreams. So when Umuntu that would know that your gift has to do with doing things also including because I include how church people used to heal because church people remember how we became prophets because healers Sangomas is Asiya so that it's similar right so when 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 I, I I started to I infuse how because during apartheid the witchcraft act was passed legislated against us doing anything that has to do with indigenous ways of healing so we were forced to innovate and and find a way of still practicing as practitioners and there was a huge boom of us in the church they use water we use plants and water too so but it's too is when so when you see people in church uniform so you know that there's an ancestral spirit that used their gift in the church uh, so when you see Amapitani robes and all of those things, so that's how candles, 
for example you know so and 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 and, and you need to understand because candles also represent the fire energy but we used to light a lot of candles because we understood that we wanted also our ancestors to see where we were it was about igniting light so you could see where i am so it it is not necessarily good is true you know, unless if you see multiple colors and all of those things so uh yeah let's not uh i'm about to end people are now asking me personal questions about their personal dreams maybe that's that's off topic and yes actually my earrings can you see can you see what they've got they've got togoza coco they were made by Ritala design she makes this beautiful i'm waiting for one that says karanga king uh remember we are not asking specific questions let's do who would love to subscribe to a membership, paid membership, where you get your dreams explained? So maybe you don't need to consult. Maybe you just want dreams. So you pay. And how much would you pay for a subscription? Because I don't know how this thing is. A paid membership. How much should we charge for a paid membership? For me to sit in once a week, I sit in with the members who are paying and I interpret dreams. You know, I, I, I wouldn't even know. I know Tenji is my teacher. She will teach me how to do this paid membership thing but you know that every week you're getting content that is specific that is directed to you because we need to understand guti i can't always be looking at where now what are you saying and what this dream is so what would paid membership look like where would we start 250 oh so we started 250 that's not bad 20 rand a month says you says 20 rand a month 50 rand 100 rand so we'll see all right 300 a month. Ooh, I love my people. Hey, I. I also tell you, I was going to tell you, I was going to tell you, I was going to Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Me, okay. I don't know if it's 250 Nairas, 150, 150, 200. Something of affordable across the board 100 260 200 okay so it looks like we're getting majority of people saying not less than 150 it feels like not less than 150 and it might be that i want a lot of people but it might be that i also don't want a lot of people because this is different uh this requires my energy and my everything i need to be deeply immense in it uh so yeah i will inquire look around uh Ritala Design, if you, it's, it's somewhere on my Instagram page, send me a DM, I will, yeah, because I don't, I don't, my, the numbers are on the phone, so it means I have to look at the phone. Sam, if you look at my post, when I'm wearing accessories, I do take Ritala Design, even, uh, I said Sam, because her ancestral name is Sam, so the lady who makes the t-shirt, I take her all the time, so I always take the people, and you know, I don't know. I don't get these things for free because I'm Coco Dino. Most of them I buy them and they sometimes give me something to sample and I fall in love with it because there's also another person that I found on Instagram. So this one makes proud Sangoma and makes a uh, footprints of our ancestors. Maybe I want to start my own line coming soon. My own line of t-shirts, mugs, diaries, and I'm working on a book. So, but for now, I'll promote the other people I use, but I want to start my own t-shirt line. I'm not going to speak about it. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be, you know, Coco Dino or Karanga Queen something. But there's this person from... This is Primitive Native. Uh, they are also on Instagram. They make beautiful... So look at this. A gift of Africa. And... This is Busita no underscore keys on Instagram. It's Mozando Pino. You can find it. They make proud Sangoma. They make a uh, walking the footprints of our ancestors. They make a lot. There's another King Saint that make Path and Duana. So there's a lot of people who sell these beautiful t-shirts. Um, you know, I love beautiful things and I try buy as much local as I can because people are saying buy local, buy local. But I also love some some luxury but i i could see the quality in the work of our our people there's such a lot of quality and the more we can invest in them yeah the more we can we can actually also compete at a global level you know so it's yeah so this proud sangomas is footprints of our sisters she makes sweaters and she makes the beautiful ones 
So Utwase give me and I, I buy from her. So she doesn't always give me these things for free. She would give me a new one to sample. This ring was a gift. It's not from Ditala. But the Africa rings that I wear a lot are from Ditala. She makes those things. Thank you. I think we did some marketing and some promotion for our beloved sisters. And it's interesting. Now, this one is made by, I think, it's a guy who runs this. Uh, it's a guy who runs this. This one. I love this. This one. I, I love this. I love this. I love this one. Yes. At Ditala Design on Instagram. Can somebody type, um, does anybody know about my Zantopino or I don't know even know how if I'm, it's a Swahili word. I'm not pronouncing it right. They make these ones and let me show you what else they make. Yes, they make this. Look how beautiful this. Proud Sangoma. Please remember to subscribe. Get your friends to subscribe. Get your. I don't remember who this is. I'll ask, but this was another local. Karanga, like I always say, Karanga Queen. And Gonjo, who makes the Africa Your Time is Now? I forgot her name. Uh, and then Busi also makes this ones. Walking in the Footprints of Our Ancestors, which I love. I've got all, all of them. So thank you so much, beloved. Please DM me topic suggestions on, on, on YouTube. Like I said, we're going to move some of the conversation on YouTube. If you have not subscribed yet, you are missing out. This would be content. And on Instagram, I'm going to do it. Not regularly, but it will be when we have Q&As and things like that. But these are good because these are uninterrupted information so you're downloading information you are being fed knowledge you are being fed wisdom <clears throat> hit the subscribe button and please share with family and friends this is the best way to actually get people to understand spirit, african spirituality especially if you're finding it healing you're finding it enlightening you're finding it and don't forget to like the video as well of course thank you don't forget to like the video don't forget to share it don't forget to get your friends please watch with your kids because um of course your older kids there is less little i don't use a lot of things this could be the content we don't get this content on our tvs we are creating our own tvs and making our own shows because we're not gonna wait we are gonna continue doing this work love and light beloved thank you so much it was beautiful being with you tonight Chawazani. See you next week, same time. Wednesdays work for us. So I think I want to make it a regular a date night of Wednesday. And I'm sure I'm going to get myself corrected with the technicalities. Yeah. And click the notification bell. Because you will be notified every time I go live. Because you never know. Those might inspire me and I might be somewhere and there's dancing and I click live. And we are seeing things happening live. Or I'm doing something and Jose says... Do this teaching because when I'm in spirit, I teach. When I'm inspired, I teach. Because spirit means, inspiration means being in spirit. Love and light, sweet dreams. Uh, see you soon. Next week.